today we are going to discuss flow and it's a part 2 if you have not seen the part 1 so in description you will see the basics interview question and answer which interviewer may ask about it so here we are going to discuss some typical questions on the flow so let's start so are flow supported in all editions so it's not true okay so flows are only available in enterprises, performance, and unlimited editions. Okay, so it is not supporting all the editions. So you, you have to be very clear on this one. Now, second is what happens when you delete a flow from your org? So it will permanently delete and it cannot be recovered. Okay, simple. If you delete it, it cannot be recovered. Now question number three, and it is, it has been asked uh, by uh, multiple interviewers. So what happened if a user navigate back to the previous screen while filling out the value on a multi screen flow? So if you have filled some information, if you click on back, so whatever you have written on the screen, so it will get lost. Okay. So you from Salesforce side on the means on the flow, you cannot recover that information again so you have to be very uh, conscious okay about it while taking the input from the user question four what data type restricts restrictions are there when sending information from one screen to another flow okay so uh, it, it is you can only send certain data type between the screens in a flow and those all are string integer decimal boolean dates and data time so basically we cannot pass the list sets and map okay it should be only uh, these whatever uh, means i have mentioned here it should be a string integer decimal boolean dates and data types whereas i will show you these uh, demos as well in series third three okay so uh, next is what are the some real world example where you have used flows to solve customer problem okay so the interview will ask this question okay so how the flows are important to you okay when 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 you have some specific issues so well you can say multiple things okay previously i am using uh, if i need to create from account from account to content on opportunity so right now the business wants it should be automated okay with few custom logics so i have implemented with that uh, when you save the account so it will partially save the contact and opportunity so i have also mentioned some points here you can go and read it okay but there are multiple uh, things that you can cover here now so what is the order of execution when an object has both apex trigger and record trigger flow okay so this is being asked by many interviewers nowadays so the order execution will be first before save record trigger will run then before save apex trigger will run then after save apex trigger and port somehow it is not uh, appearing in the screen but that is after save record trigger flow okay so this is the four execution Means first and fourth will be the uh, will be covered by the trigger flow. Okay, flow basically, and second and third will be handled by the apex trigger. I am going to the next question and I will show you. Now the next question is what is the best practice that you follow for a flow, and these all are the basic practice that you need to follow, and the main thing is the naming convention of the flow. You will create the flow. That's a good. But how you create that another developer or a lead or a subordinate or a team member understand what that flow is doing with that naming convention. Okay. Because you can create a number of flow. But if you are drawing that flow in such a way that no one can understand because no one can go one by one and check all the flows. Right. So naming should convention should be very proper. And always test your flow. Consider using subflows. That's important. 
and never perform the DML statement in the loop. Okay, you should avoid it. If you use it, then you have to break it somewhere else, somewhere. But otherwise, it will be in a it will be, it will be in a big loop. So it will be in give you the error. So be 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 alert on this one. Document your flow. That's a very high point that based on naming convention, you have to document it. Never hard code the IDs because when you will migrate the flow from one sandbox to another sandbox, if you hard code it, so it will be a problem. Plan your faults and handle them. Simply debug, right? Utilize before save for some record updates. We basically, we are doing this one in uh, triggers. So you have to think in such a way. Then use after save flow instead of the process builder or workflow. So after save means when you will get an ID, right? When you will get an ID, then try to, uh, don't try to use uh, builder or workflow, use after save. And then one more, most important point is flow isn't always the best idea. So flow, why this part is there? Because if, if suppose you are saving an account and you perform 10 flows. So that is also not a best practice. Okay. So sometimes it's fine, but uh, you should have a, a strong reason if you are creating multiple flows and it's not a better idea. Also, if you Salesforce will provide you like uh, I can give you an example. If you have a lead, right. And um, Salesforce default feature is if you will convert the lead, it will automatically generate account contact and opportunity for it okay but you are not using it and you created the flow for it you will pick the data from uh, lead and you will uh, populate those data in account content opportunity. Then this is not a best practice right because salesforce out of box feature is there and you, uh, still you are replacing it with the flow so that see no one can going to stop you right in terms of uh, development but yes it's not a right way so you should think in that way Okay, so I think that's all for uh, this and this is fourth one, which is somehow came down. Okay, so if you want this PPT, let me know. I will uh, just drop me your mail ID. I will forward this PPT to you and please subscribe and like the channel. I will upload this series of this flow. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much.